I think often we feel uh, at sea and unbounded, um, and uh, and I think that a bookstore provides uh, a landscape for discovery. Book Row is a feature of a lot of great cities. It's where there's lots of bookstores on a single strip of streets. So. Uh, in Vancouver, historically, Book Row has been along Pender Street, and uh, that's where we are right now. We're at the corner of Pender and Homer Streets, and at one point there were about ten bookstores along here, and now there's four, including us. So the future of the book is uh, going to shift a little bit more towards more specialized, more prestigious books. Um, because you could have a whole library on your tablet, the book as a single text is going to cease to be that important. So I don't see it as a real problem for a bookstore like this. I think that we can continue to be selling like specialized, beautiful, unusual texts that, and that are bound in a way that people want to display them. But I think that the throwaway book culture is going to be eroded. I think used bookstores will always have a place in our society and they're definitely better than Kindles. It feels more personal to have it in your hands and actually have some, something tangible that you can hold. I'm still kind of like uh, old fashioned in that I like, um, I like book books. Um, I obviously see the, the benefit of e-books e and the ease and simplicity and not having to drag around a you know, huge heavy load of things so uh, I, I don't have an e-reader yet I will probably get one I do a lot of reading on my iPhone um, the diversity of having the book and other things you know cameras on there and you know on the like the pads that kind of stuff yeah so it gives you more functionality in your hands you have your book there too so in the event you know you don't have to carry the extra book with you kind of a thing yeah. you've got all those other tools that you can use on a regular basis In an era where everything is being carried on a single tablet, you're not really able to um, identify yourself through what you're reading. Which, you know, if you're reading smut and doggerel, maybe you don't want to be identified by it. But if you're reading, you know, uh, literature that you're proud of, that really moves you, that makes you feel like you're part of a particular group. Um, then maybe you want people to see that and see it on your bookshelf and engage with you because of it. And, uh, and so the anonymity of a tablet reader isn't always ideal. We try to uh, sort of highlight the interesting, unusual things that, uh, that turn up. We've got, you'll see that we've got some spinners full of old bookmarks from old stores and things that we found tucked into books. Um, to sort of remind people how physical books act as a, a vessel. Um, you know, interesting marginalia, stuff that people have written in books, uh, old ownership stickers, book plates, things like that are definitely of interest to us. Eventually, um, you know, books won't be published in print anymore, and maybe it's a good thing. Maybe we'll save all that paper and stop cutting down trees. Um, you know, you can't really stop the march of progress. There's always going to be books, like there's books circulating. Um, there's not going to be a moment where all the books just cease to exist. So as long as people have books, they need to get rid of their books. And, um, and so, and people are always discovering new books. So even if the publishing industry goes belly up, which, who knows, is the worst case scenario, there are still going to be, there's still, you know, 600 years of published book history uh, and material culture floating around that needs some sort of um, access to orbit through, right? So I think I'm mixing my metaphors a bit, but I think bookstores will always be um, essential for that. And they're becoming a little bit more, um, salon-like, I guess, uh, in this era. People like to go to a physical place and, and meet people and think about things.
Yeah, I'm the manager of information technology. So I'm actually involved a lot with uh, implementing uh, e-reader and e-book resources for library customers. The popularity of the e-books is increasing. We provide access to the content. And we do also have a small uh, e-reader lending program, the actual devices. Uh, that's kind of a bridging program to get people used to them. Uh, we're not sure what the long-term uh, position in terms of lending the technology, but in terms of the content, the e-books, uh, that's going to continue to be a growing part of our business, for sure. E-readers will become more popular because uh, people will definitely have to change with the times. That's it. People will change with the times. From what I understand, uh, in fact, young people uh, seem to have a preference for paper books. I don't have the facts to back that up, but my colleagues tell me that our teen readers, particularly, they like the paperbacks, you know? So, yeah, it seems to be people more of my generation that really are taking to the e-books. So because of um, Chapters' domination, like Chapters, Barnes & Nobles, these big box retailers just decimated the landscape for independence in the 90s. And you guys probably don't even remember what it was like back then, but there were a lot of small bookstores like this selling new books. And Chapters, because of their um, marketing strategy, they, they eliminated any kind of profit margin that bookstores like that could operate on. So they all crumbled. There was nothing left. There was only chapters. And so there's a lot, so little bookstores like this that are opening up are really exciting for younger people, it seems, because they've never encountered this kind of shop before. They've only been in the big superstore style of, of bookshops. And so this is kind of fun and weird and exciting, it seems, I think. Yeah. They have, have a place more than ever because just like old vinyl stores, things get recycled and the old shit is still pretty valuable. I, I actually like uh, having a book that's been read. Yeah, uh, I think they'll always be around because there will be a nostalgia for books. It's kind of like vinyl in the record industry, right? You still need books, and yeah, as a matter of fact, I bought four books in the last two weeks. But well, when they get those books. Yeah. yeah, maybe a month. But I don't know. I just think that's kind of how we grew up, you know. Like you borrow a book, you give a book, and it's more to curl up with the book. It's the same to curl up with the e-reader. My final message would be: don't buy the hype. People love to talk about the end of the book and the end of bookstores but they're often uninformed, boring opinions that are just recycled from some nonsense that they've read online. And so go to a bookstore and see how dynamic and exciting they are. Come to my bookstore, The Paper Hound, at 344 West Tender Street. Child and